Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Cognition, episode 2. So, we went to the morgue, we'll go back at the headquarters and try to find the item that synergizes with the wrong number. Synergizes, is that the word? I have no idea. I can uh, hear the tape as well. Play to mm, what? There's a blank tape in it. Ah, it was blank. I thought it was uh, all right. So I can record things, I guess. So test desk somewhere here should be. What we need probably the this pink. She really did like pink. Let's kind of take it. This yes, is the one. Lucky for me, she wasn't using the same kind everyone else does. Okay. Folders she was probably filing. Nothing to do with what I'm looking for. Yes, I got what we are looking for. I'm not taking that with me. I gotta find something else that would work. I got it already. Relax. I'm just checking things out. Okay. Back. Throws. Okay, let's keep here. Can I... Damn it. No. Alright, but I can at least... Find another item to work with that... Yes, I found the other item. There. I have the pen that secretary took down the wrong number with. Good. Hold them both together and use your powers on them at the same time. It should give you a clearer image, show you the memory that these things share. You have now acquired the power of synergy. Synergy can be used on items in your inventory. Press the cognition sphere. Now open your inventory. You can use synergy on items that show in color. You, when you select an item that can be synergized, haha. Select two or more items to make memory stronger. Selecting non-matching items will create static. When you select all magic items, the image will begin to glow. You can then press the cognition sphere again to fully view the memory. Is that... Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Okay. Six one seven. Six. Five five five, one three four two. Uh huh. Okay. I'll give this to Agent Reed when she gets back. Uh huh. She's dyslexic, apparently. It's working. I've got the number. And they say synergy's just a buzzword. Do you think if I combine even more items, I can make a memory clearer? See more of it? I should think so. If you had a number of items that had been in the same place at the same time, that'll come in handy. I guess that's a hint that we must find all the charms and use them together. Okay, can I do it with anything else? This seems a bit... Huh. Ah. No. Can I... The memory isn't strong enough yet. Alright, so I need more items. And this does not help. Maybe I need something else? Mm, probably. Okay, that was interesting. Do we have anything else to discuss? Hey, probably Rose. not. Hello, my dear. No. Alright. I'm gonna get going. Let's Goodbye, call Cordelia then.
hello? Hi, Cordelia. This is Erica Reed. Erica, hello! I'm so glad to hear from you. Sorry it took a while. I'm glad you came by, though. I wanted to talk to you about something. I was just on my way to visit my brother, in fact. We could meet there in half an hour? Sounds good. See you soon. Okay then. The ice cream truck is outside. Hope it doesn't come through the microphone. But let's go to the cemetery. Hello, Erica. Hi, Cordelia. So, let's talk to him. Should have saved. Ah. Cordelia, this is hard for me to say. I don't even know where to start. Try me. I remembered something from the night that my brother died. I knew I had seen you before, but I, I couldn't place it. Three years ago, you were here the night he was murdered in this cemetery. I know. That's why I tried to find you at the FBI office. I remembered seeing you here that night, too. When I realized who you were, it was horrible. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I hope it wasn't a problem my coming by the office. I just didn't know how else to contact you. It's fine. It's just been a busy few days. I can give you my cell phone number if you ever need to contact me again. Thank you. I know what dog is. Jesus. What were you doing here? I was visiting Max's grave. And how did you get close to the crime scene? I was sitting here, and I heard a gunshot. I didn't know what it was, so I called 911. Minutes later, I saw the commotion, the police cars, and I got closer. A police officer asked me to leave, but before I did, I saw you. It was you. You didn't need to come to the office to tell me you remembered me. Why were you really there? I wasn't sure I wanted to say it. I feel kind of dumb. It's just... Recently, I felt unsafe at my apartment. I started noticing a man hanging around. I don't like how he looks at me. After I realized who you were, I remembered something. That night you were here, I think I saw him here too. What? Cordelia, what do you mean? I can't be positive. He looks different. There are scars on this guy's face, but... I swear, I remember those eyes. It might be him, but more importantly, I'm afraid. If that man is really... I, I can't check it out myself right now, but I can get a car over there at least. Someone to keep an eye on things until I can get there myself. You do that? Well, thank you so much, Erica. I live at the Enthon Towers by the Charles River. You did the right thing. I'll get over there myself soon, I promise. All right. You said you took over the business from your brother. What do you do? He owned and managed some properties in the city, so now it's what I do. I'm not nearly as visionary as Max was, though. Hmm, sounds like good work. Not quite as interesting as being an FBI agent. <laughs> interesting, yes. Good for your blood pressure or psyche, that's up for debate. That sounds like you've had a bad day. You could say that. Do you want to talk about it? Hmm. A friend of mine was taken was by someone unexpected. I don't know where he is, but I know he's hurt badly and I... I have to find him. That's awful. But you sound determined. I'm sure you'll find him. Just finding him isn't good enough. I found okay, Scott, I found Davy, <laughs> and I was too late to save either of them. I know what it's like to lose someone close to you, Erica. <sighs> you care case. about this friend of yours a lot, don't you? I do. More than I've let him know. 
But there are things I haven't told him about myself. I wish things were... Simple? Exactly. Something normal. Something that isn't messed up. <sighs> but I'm starting to think there is no not messed up in my life. It is a normal in anyone's life. Sometimes. What was your brother like? Max... He was the real star in the family. Brilliant. Everyone loved him and he was always kind to me. We lost our parents when I was still young, but he always looked out for me and made me part of the business. I wasn't really qualified at the time, but I tried to be for him. It sounds like you were really close. We were. I miss him so much, even now. I know he's gone, but there's still this hole where he used to be. Well, same with me and Scotty. I'll hear this a sucks. joke I know we'd love, or see a movie that's right up his alley, and... And sometimes I forget for a minute that I can't tell him about it. Those are some of the best minutes, though. This isn't depressing at all. I talked to Rose. You were right. She's been a big help. She's a good woman. I'm glad it worked out. What kind of pain did she help you with? Oh, it was... She helped me deal with Max's death. We'd just moved into a new place before it happened, and I... I wasn't dealing very well with it. I felt like I had no one else to turn to. No one else who understood what I was going through. Oh. Well... Glad she could help you. I was lucky I had people like John and my dad after Scotty died. I can't imagine going through it alone. So she's a scion? What not? No, I need to get back to my case. I'll let you know when I've got a car at the towers. Thank you so much, Erica. If there's anything I can do, even if you just need to talk again, you've got my number. I might take you up on that. I like not feeling quite so... Weird. Great, we made a friend. I don't know how much of a friend she will be, but we'll see. And no, we can't use that. Okay. Let's see then. Did that, did that, did that. Downtown, I guess. Time for Berkeley, or maybe we need to. Send the car at here, please. How do I have no idea? Let's go. Let's see. I want to talk to John anyway. Can we tell here? Oh. Hey, Gwen. Any news? Not really. Sorry. Hmm. In the agency request I need form. an interagency request form. Here you go. It looks like you're buried in paperwork. I'm so busy I haven't been able to get these forms to make Adams to get them signed. He's gonna be so mad at me. Thanks, Gwen. Was this guitar charm one of the ones in evidence? No, none of them were guitar shaped. This one's new. Interesting. Mm. This is interesting. But let me bring the stack in for you at least. Would you? Oh, thank you, Erica. You are a savior. No problem, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Okay, let's see. Look. A blank interagency form. I'll need McAdams to sign it to mm -hmm. get a police car over to the Enthon Towers. So we'll uh, trick him for some reason. Some papers Gwen needs McAdams to sign. Yep. I'll just add this one on top. Why could I do it just tell him? You're such a, such a secretive person. Okay, I need to find something with the envelope. It's annoying me. Let's go to my Adams. Let's save, actually. Ah, I didn't. Okay. Eh, uh, whatever.
Okay, here we go. Here, these are from Gwen for you to sign. And why are you bringing me these? Because Tess quit. The evidence room was robbed, and she's going gray trying to keep everything together out there on her own. She has her job, you have yours. But fine, give her this one, she can get the rest later. That was convenient. And he's quite an asshole. McAdams? Agent Reed? I'll I get back to you. See that you do. So being a bitch. Uh, do I need to give that to Quinn? Probably. One interagency request form, signed by McAdams, ready to send to the BPD. I'm gonna catch a lot of shit for this one. So I wonder if they haven't fired you yet. Can I... You? Nope. Alright. Let's leave. A good FBI agent, you're not. Well. Let's talk to John first. Do you actually work? McCoy? Red? No. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. That is weird. Anything mm, else? Nope. Alright. So let's give that to Gwen and move on to Berkeley. Here are some of those forms, Gwen. I think he said to bother him frequently about <laughs> getting the rest of them done. Oh, Bitty. I'm sure he did. Thanks, hon. And could you fax this to Officer Jonathan Duffer at the BPD for me? All right. Thanks, Gwen. Hello, Erica. Hi, Cordelia. It's all sorted out. There'll be a police car outside the building soon. I'll get there when I can, but in the meantime, if you see that guy, let them know, okay? Thank you so much, Erica. I feel safer already knowing you're looking out for me. I'm glad I could help. I'll call you later. Don't trust here. Okay, let's move on. To Berkeley. Right. Berkeley College of Music. That's a long zoom for no reason. That's a nice office. Uh, you must be Special Agent Reed. I am. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me, Dean Chapman. Of course. Now, how can I help you? I need some information on a former student, Kelsey Gardner. Kelsey Gardner. Oh yes, the missing girl. Has she been found? Not exactly. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, what can I do to help, Agent? Alright. First... No. Okay. Let's see. Let's I'd be know. more surprised if he didn't have a few of these in his office. Wow. Is that cello signed by Yo-Yo Ma? Damn! And that guitar signed by the Beatles? That had to set him back a lot. Well, I guess you should it. Why? I can play a little piano, but I'd be embarrassing myself playing in front of him. Okay. Fine, got a minute. Ugh, that thing's a mess. Paper sticking out, overstuffed drawers. It's like the university equivalent of shoving things under your bed. The drawers are labeled personnel, finances, coursework, and miscellaneous. Well... Isn't that one of those really swanky hotels in Dubai? Yeah, seems to be really rich. Daniel Chapman, the Dean of Students. Although with that jacket, he looks more like a professor. He should be able to tell me more about Kelsey and why she dropped out. Alright, let's talk to him. Next time, actually. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching.